Hello guys, my name is Rob and welcome back for for another episode of this Fiorentina carry mode. Today I'm back with the second episode where you guys asked for. I'm very happy I got like 400 views on my first episode of this Fiorentina carry mode. I promised you guys to make like a second, to make like a whole season with this team. Um, and what actually did I do? I replaced the whole series. What did I do? I changed the language into English so you can follow every single team which is on my screen. And I'll promise you from now on I'll make for you guys every single day a, uh, a video of the Fiorentina carry mode. Uh, I'm glad I didn't make uh, every single day a video before because I had to pass my exams. My exams are very hard. I passed them and got like very good marks and I'm very happy. I'm very glad I studied a lot. And now I'm back for you guys because I passed my exams. I can do everything I want now. So now I'm back for you guys with making videos in FIFA. And I decided to go fast, go a bit further with my Fiorentina carry mode because I, uh, I looked as to, I took a look at my channel and I saw that uh, I had like 400 views I, I didn't knew that but here you can see I purchased June Burnett uh, a left back that you guys wanted I wanted as well a, a player who is going to be very very good for our, for our team here in Fiorentina who can improve our team a lot um, I also tried to loan out a lot of players uh, I'm trying to loan to 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 just um, yeah so sell a lot of plays as well like this guy here the millage guy uh, i'll try to just uh, sell on because i don't think we really need him this season while we have burnet right now which is a, a lot better uh than, than him of course but you'll see a bit of gameplay at the end of this video it will be a very long video like you can see is because there's a lot of transfers going on here uh, in the beginning of July and then, and then the beginning of August, of course. But I'll promise you guys there is a uh, there is um, a video uh, with some gameplay at the end of this video. It will be against Juventus. It will be an interesting game. So I hope you guys, if you don't, if you are not interested in the transfers that I'll make, just go to the video, uh, go to the uh, the live uh, gameplay. It will be around like minute 18 or something. So you'll you'll know that there's going to be a lot of transfers. Which are going to happen and um, uh, first of all I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful time with your family or with your friends, uh, with your girlfriend, I don't know. Uh, but I just well, I want to, to wish you guys a, a Merry Christmas and I hope you guys just have an, uh, an absolute uh, a very good time uh, with everyone uh, you like. But if you can see I'm looking to buy a new left back as well, maybe as a backup because I don't think... Um, because I thought, like, uh, when Burnt is injured, I need to have some backup. And I, I, um, I put, like, this, the, uh, this um, free agent on my shortlist as well. But then I saw their stats and they were just not good enough to play in the Serie A for me. So I just deleted them pretty quickly. So I don't need them uh, anymore. Um, but there are a, a couple of youngsters there on my on my list. And I saw just Mason Holgate, only 19, as having a lot of potential to be a, a star player uh, within like two or three seasons. So I tried to sign him up. Uh, he's 65 rated currently. The only one to have 1 to 1.2 million. That's actually pretty cheap for a player which got like a potential of, I guess, 82 or 83. It, it will be a very good player if he reaches his uh, potential. I tried for some Byram as well, but I think... Uh, we will not. Uh, we are not able to have him because he recently joined. He is actually a former Leeds United player, I guess, because I played last uh, year with Leeds as well. And I think uh, Sam, Sam Byrett was then like a left back as well there at Leeds. I loaned out uh, this uh, youth player Chiesa at the age of 18, like 60 rated. It's it's better that he, that he that I can load him out because I actually won't use him in the first season if he's only 60 rated. I won't even use him in the cup because in Italy there's like a weird. Um, I don't know how to say it, but like a weird a way or of playing the cup. Uh, you actually um, are direct. We are actually directly into the quarterfinals, and that's actually yeah, that's really nice because I don't really like playing the cup. We are involved in the Euro League as well, and uh, my uh, my oh, I should say that the aim of the the board is to win the Euro League. It will be a tough task, but I hope I can do it. My group is yeah. We should win this group because we got Saint Etienne in it. We got like Grasshopper from Bern in Switzerland, in Switzerland, and we got like a Polish team. I can't remember their name, but you will see it like within a couple of uh, a couple of um, episodes. Tomorrow, you guys see another episode, and every single Friday, I bring you guys like a Face Cam Friday episode. Which means like I'm going to bring you guys a live episode. I'm going to make like as much live episodes as I can, but with school and everything, it's it's pretty hard to, 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 to get it all together. I'll try for you as much as possible. Um, I'll, I'll make, I, I, and I'll try to make as much uh, live commentaries as possible for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, 
as well but maybe uh, the day after tomorrow I'll bring you guys like a uh, live episode um, yeah I think I do have time then to make a live episode but if you can see here they uh, Everton they accepted they the 1.1 1 .1, uh, offer here for Mason Holgate he wants like 9 million and a four years contract he's currently a future first team player at his uh, current club so I thought to just give him like the same contract maybe he will accept it but you never know what they are going to say just just always try the, the lowest offer the lowest offer possible then I got like a transfer for Nenet Tomovic a player actually which was not in my plans to use so I actually I'm willing to sell him and I asked Torino to pay like uh, 6 million but I don't want to sell uh, Kalinic because he's one of my favorite players at Fiorentina I do have a shirt of him as well then we got like David Davide Estori a player who is not in my plans either so I tried to sell, sell him as well and to which club he can go is actually fucking FC Barcelona I don't think he will ever get a chance to play there maybe in a cup or something or against uh, the lower league sides but I don't think he will ever get a chance to play against the, the likes of Real Madrid for example then another team actually out of nothing came Leicester City to buy David Estore I guess it will be more likely to go to, 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 to Leicester City than to Barcelona because I just think he will get a lot more playing time at uh, at uh, Leicester City than at um, at Barcelona to be honest uh, but Mason Holgate he refused his contract so I just gave him like a Spondradic first team player which is like one class above of a future first team but he, you, you will see that he is going to refuse it again we got a transfer offer here for Tomovic you only are able to pay like 5.5 I, I asked for 6 so I just think yeah, just let just accept this. Uh, it's just money that we can use, so I'll accept it. I'll, I'll accept the offer, and um, yeah, everyone was uh, with, was happy with uh, accepting that um, as well. Now I move a bit on, and you'll see we actually do a lot of transfers here within this window. We got a transfer for four, Bedelli, as you can see there as well. But Bar Barcelona and Leicester City, they both said that they they are going to match it. But in the end, actually, I think just like Barcelona were, will be able to get them. And again, like Mills, Mason Holgate refused his contract. Now I just gave him like a squad uh, rotation player. I won't give him just anything higher because I can't afford to give him that. He's only 65 rated. I'm not able to give him like... Um, first in player so I decided to just like um, give up on this uh, transfer offer he won't come to Fiorentina within now maybe within a few seasons I can buy him as well and like you can see there a story went to Barcelona where he is going to play no matches at all I guess uh, but yeah you never know how good they will be at their new club good let's take another look at our uh, uh, right backs and everything I decided to do an offer for Matteo Damian after I just got like uh, 22 million in the bank he's only worth like 11.5 so I asked I, I thought maybe for 14.3 that's like uh, the, the less they are willing to have for him maybe I can pick him up pretty cheap here and it's a pretty decent right back from uh, Arsenal I guess it's not their, their best one but yeah, he can fit the he can fit the bill for me, and uh, and real life the defense of Fiorentina they are, they do have a pretty weak defense, so it's actually quite realistic that we are going to buy a new one. Then I checked like their stats if they can play as a right back and as a left back. Um, like you can see, uh, Dormian can play as a right back, as a left back, but not at, but not as a centre back. So that's maybe a bit of shame. Um, but yeah, I, I, if I can use them like for two positions at like more than enough, I checked like. Uh, every single um, um, statistics for all the player like you can see there I just think Mason Holgate uh, I'm just not happy that, that we can't sign him up right now he will be a future star but maybe Ty Tyrone Mings will be a, a good signing as well just recommend me who should I sign who should I sell here within the comments here below this video and maybe I'll upload another video tonight. I'm not entirely sure about that, but maybe I'll do that. It will be another post commentary, of course, because I can't, um, I can't make some more live episodes within here tonight because I need to go to to a Christmas party and everything. But I'll I'll try to do as much as I can for you guys. I I really appreciate your view your viewers your views, of course. Um, and I got like uh, seven more subscribers and I didn't actually upload a single video so I'm quite happy with that I hope you guys just keep on subscribing keep on liking the videos keep commenting below the videos that make my day really really much uh, because I just don't have the, the easiest life I do study a lot um, so it's not like the easiest life I, I want to have a future <laughs> like I uh, I can say uh, but my future yeah I, I do like football football is 
is like my hobby. Everything what I do is um, yeah, it's actually um, accolated to football. Everything I I watch football every single day. I watch the highlights of every single match. If it is now in the championship, the league one, the league two, or the Premier League, I watch like every single highlights of the football league so far and I, I football is like, like my every single hobby i got at the moment so i like making these fifa videos and i hope you guys appreciate it that i do make them for you guys uh, and as you can see i just sent my scout uh, somewhere else because he found everywhere he found everything in the country uh, where he was uh, but i just think the most frustrating thing about having those those scouts is that they only find like attackers because i know i want to have like more defenders uh because i just think attacking wise we're, we're pretty okay i just think we do need to have more midfielders more defenders uh, but my scouts only are giving me uh attackers if you uh, have a solution for that just please uh give it me in the comments because i don't know what to do i'll need some uh some midfielders and i need some center backs so just please put it in the comments how can i fix it that they um uh, that they're going for someone else and this is my future star i brought someone in this will be enrique acuna 17 year old, 17 year old striker does have a potential from 86 to 94 he's currently 56 rated i guess and this was what my scout uh, found like this valerio conti guy will be a good one but all the rest like you can see are pretty poor so i hope my uh, my um my youth academy players will grow as fast as possible because i want to involve them as uh, as fast as possible in the team i'll accept is an offer from uh, Sassuolo for, for Bajelli because I don't really like uh, how he's playing he's pretty slow his statistics are going down either so I don't really play I don't really like to play with him I tried to have some uh, I tried to, to sell Illicic either um, but at the end I won't sell him because everyone is he, he is not allowed to, to, to give me what uh, I want to have for him so at the end I just keep him uh, but you'll see I, I get like some more offers for him uh, within this transfer window I put Toledo on the the loan list but after all I decided just to keep him because he's he is going to be a very good backup player I guess he's on loan to us but I don't know from which team I should check that uh, within a later episode but um as you can see, Bedelli, uh, I sold him to Sassuolo, the deal went through, he's going to there, and I hope uh, he will get uh, a good season there, and I hope just, I just think we don't need him in our team, it's not in my plans, uh, we should just have another player there in that position, and I guess that will fit the bill for us. Um, but good, we did like, I, it was a bit weird, I just didn't get a response from Man United for the player I was going for, for, for the right back. Um, and then I was looking for some more Italian midfielders. Now it will take a lot, a lot, a lot of time until you see all the midfielders there. I'm sorry I can't skip it. There's something wrong with my editing software that I can't uh, skip over all those uh, those things. But you'll see now that I'll search for a lot of Italian midfielders now. Um, it's quite boring so we can skip through it. Um, but I'm going to talk as much as I can about it so you won't hear any silence um, during this video. I saw this guy here, Baselli, which is currently playing at Torino, looking pretty decent at the age of 24. All those statistics were actually pretty decent, so I thought just maybe add him to our shortlist and maybe we can find out how good he is. This Bertoli guy was not as good as I thought before looking at him, all those statistics were pretty poor. Here, Daniele Bessa can be a pretty decent player, but he's actually loaned out to Hellas Verona in the second division of Italian football. Then we got like Giacomo Bonaventura. Look at his look at those statistics they're absolutely incredible but maybe he's just like a bit common in carry mode youtubers everyone is just going for him Fabio Borini Hernandez Blaine at Sunderland is actually a decent player either so we can use him uh, maybe later on uh, this carry mode because currently I just can't go for him this guy Leonardo Capizzi currently at Crotone he's loaned out but he was a former Fiorentina player but then I thought why if why would you come back to a team where we we just sold you that will be absolutely incredible but this guy Danilo Cataldi looked like absolutely crazy he looked pretty decent there at uh, Lazio Roma and maybe we actually do have a chance to go for him this guy Lorenzo Crista currently at Crotone looked actually pretty decent either way so uh, we looked a little bit further like you can see there are actually a lot of Italian midfield is there. Uh, the ones are just a little bit poorer than the other ones. I don't know that much about De Yola, but we'll see it later on um, this season uh, how his statistics are going to be. 
Um, and if you're going to go for him either well or either not. So Marco Frosati, I put him on my shortlist uh, as well. If I make some uh, pronunciation mistakes, just uh, just correct me here in the comments that I don't make those mistakes anymore. Just um, If I make an English uh, mistake either, just correct me in the comments. I'm not going to... I'm not going to blame about it. I'm actually glad that you guys want to help me. So if I make just like a spelling mistake or everything like that, just put it in the comments and I'll try to fix it uh, within the next episodes. And then I've got like Rolando and Rora. I got like, I have just like the feeling that Juventus are having a lot of great youth players. And actually we should go for either one of them maybe. Because the players that they have are, actually, are absolutely incredible. Currently they put them all on the loan list. But I'm not looking to loan someone and we are fucking Fiorentina, we are just like one of the biggest teams in Italy so we actually should buy players, not loan players in. And when I took a look at uh, the squad, I think I did that in the former episode, I got like a lot of players that I just loaned in which is absolutely incredible. Um, I hope you can buy them after all because they're uh, more like the best players and then I decided to just go uh, reject all the offers all the future offers here for Ilicic I'm not going to go for him anymore he can just he just stays at our club and I'm really happy with uh, with having him uh, at our club I'm not going I'm not going to complain I'm I'm quite happy that I just still have him in my club um, and um, yeah you will see later on this episode uh, we will uh, actually have a, uh, a goal with him and after all Matteo Damien Except or Manchester United, they accepted the contact, they accepted the offer I did for him, um, and he wants to have like 100k. Is that a week or is it a month? I actually don't know. I gave him like three years and a crucial first team play. He will be an absolutely master for us as a right back because we really need someone which is pretty decent in the back uh, to make sure that we don't concede some sloppy goals within this season. We got a lot of scouting report, a cut of uh, a lot of scouting reports back, and the, book, the good thing is that Matteo Damian signed his contract. So we got ourselves a new right back and a new left back within this video. That's actually great. We got Burnett now and we get Damian. So uh, two pretty decent players so we can move on Dix for Damian that's a huge improvement like you can see now our squad is actually very 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 good I just don't think uh, there's like um, there are some more squads with that kind of players we're actually looking pretty decent for the Italian league maybe in the uh, it, uh, maybe in the English or a German league we should have been um, a bit poorer but I just think for the Italian league we will be okay to reach at least the Euro League spots Although I'm challenging for the Champions League spots in this season. And maybe we can challenge for the title either way. So you never know. And as you can see there, there are only a couple of days left. Until I got my first match of the season away from home at the Juventus Stadium against Juventus. So that will be a huge match for us to start off the season. In real life, Fiorentina lost their 2-1. Um, because they, they had a penalty within like the, the last minute of the of the match. It was a bit uh, I was a bit disappointed in that. But you can see like every single player there are scouted, the youth players um, are, do, are having pretty decent uh, statistics, pretty decent ratings. So I went for Danilo um, Cataldi in the end um, and um, I just thought in myself he was like the best player. I just didn't know, should I go for Manuel uh, Locatelli? Then I checked his stats, he would be a very good player. Um, there are some other players there, but looking very, very, very expensive. I just thought I just want to give the the youth players some more chance. I want to get like a, a youth player who is going to get like a master player. So this guy Danilo Cataldi, I thought just let's do an offer for him like five or six million pounds, and maybe they will just accept that, and we'll see that just like uh, later on within this video. Just offer them like six million for Danilo Cataldi as a squad rotation player. Maybe I just uh, paid a bit more than he's actually worth but now it's time to go into a, to our first match of the season against Juventus away from home at the Juventus Stadium a huge match for us like I said to start of the season here the stadium is filled with a lot of people here to watch their home nation and try to win against us but it will be a tough 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 toss because I just improved my defense and that will be that will actually improve a lot of my team because I realized like I already said Fiorentina can see a lot a lot a lot of goals in the back because their defense are just pretty weak and I just think now yeah we should we should have a chance to win this match here against Fiorent uh, against um, Juventus I'm sorry but at their home they are pretty pretty strong this is Juan Luigi Buffon an absolutely world class goalkeeper but he's currently 30 age. Uh, he's currently 38 years of age, and he'll stand uh, between the posts here for Juventus tonight against us. We do have a pretty weird goalkeeper. I'm 
planning to change him within the next season because I don't have the money currently um, to change uh, someone else. Like you can see, they bought Pjanic as well. They got Dybala and Higuain on top. They got Alexandre Sandro, Marquidio, Pjanic, Quadro, Kedira. They have a pretty, pretty, pretty strong squad with Buffon and Goal, of course. Uh, you'll see like our lineup a little bit later. Um, but our lineup is, is pretty strong either way. So um, it will be a tough task for both of the teams here tonight. And that's me like uh, being a bit nervous here for my first match. So, like this is our line. We got Tattoo Rosano in goal. That's his name. I never heard of him. Then we got like uh, in the back like Damian Bernard, Demai Rodriguez, Sanchez, Benedici, Cristoforo, Valero, and I couldn't see the other players. I guess it was Kalisi Kalinic and Ilicic uh, for us. And actually, they could start the match off. I start uh, defensive wise, and there they <laughs> they lost the ball a bit stupidly. Uh, we've got the ball there, ball to Bernadici, I gave it to Cristoforo, a, a very good ball to Bernadici and it was 1-0 within 3 minutes, I couldn't believe my eyes what I saw there at the ground of uh, Juventus in Torino, we scored like 1-0 within uh, like 3 minutes, it's absolutely unbelievable but we took the scoreline open, it was 1-0 within 3 minutes in our advantage. Then there was their chance, but in six minutes after that they had a huge chance, but a great block from our defensive player, absolutely incredible there, it was Kalinic capping inside there with a shot on target, but the keeper capped it out of his goal, huge chance again there, we were back again with Ilicic, but another save from Buffon, and the ball cleared again, there we were again with Valero, another shot there on target, but again saved by their goalkeeper and they cleared it away. There was Juventus again just before the halftime whistle but a great save from our goalkeeper to keeping it 1-0 Fiorentina after the halftime whistle. There we were with Valero capping inside with a great shot past the goalkeeper. 2-0 within 60 minutes, 30 minutes before halftime we were we doubled our score, it's 2-0 now away from home, the fans celebrated a lot there in their corner for the away supporters, an absolutely incredible scoreline is on the scoreboard currently, we were back again looking for a third goal of the match with Ilicic, a true ball for Bernadici, but we couldn't score, and there they were on the counter attack with Cudrado, a great crossing, Higuain, he knocked the ball into the goal, they got a goal back, they got a consolation goal, it's 1-2, and actually they had some more hope now to get some more goals in this match but I I just don't want to give them that it was an absolutely great goal for them maybe a bit poor defensive wise but it was a great goal a great header but there we were we just uh, we, we refused their hopes because it was 3-1 within like two minutes great header we made like a similar goal and who else than Kalinic is scoring the third goal for us but as you can see it won't stop now we will score a lot more goals than this in this match and it's an absolutely huge match after 70 minutes we got like Four goals in just such a match that was horrible defending from Juventus. There was Vecina going everywhere past the fast corner and the keeper was chanceless. 4-1, absolutely incredible in our advantage. Look at that shot, an absolutely masterclass shot. The keeper was just chanceless in that, oppo uh, in that opposition. It was actually Vecino who came on as a substitute who scored. They get like horrible. They lost the ball on a horrible way. There was Bernadici with a huge through ball which, to Babacar, which was not in an offside position. I brought him on as a substitute. Babacar in the short corner and it went in. Horrible goalkeeping from Buffon. It was 5 1 in our advantage. I couldn't believe my eyes. 5 1 away from home at Juventus. That's a very good chance to make a dance. I just had in my feelings, and the supporters went crazy in that corner. Absolutely unbelievable. We won't stop here because there was Babacar again. He went through on goal. Babacar with a great shot on the post, and then the header on the rebound went in. It was 6 1. Unbelievable. Away from home at Juventus in Torino. 6 1. The first shot on the post, and then the other shot went in or on the crossbar, whatever. The other shot went in the rebound. We even had a chance to make it 7-1 with Virginia, but he couldn't score Buffon with a masterclass save. And this, we had a corner at the end of the match as well though, but we couldn't score straight to Buffon's hands and this was the end of the match. A 6-1 loss for Juventus with a 6-1 win and all advantage. It was an incredible first, uh, first match of the season. I was very happy. And this was the video for today. I hope you guys like it. I'm sorry it was a bit long. 
And I hope to see you guys tomorrow back or tonight for another video. Goodbye.